In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called finding the intercepts, asymptotes, domain, and range of the graph of a rational function. We're given our graph here, and our first question is to find the vertical asymptotes. So we can see from the picture that these two are our vertical asymptotes. The line is not crossing these asymptotes, but it is getting closer and closer on both sides. The first one here goes through the value x equals negative 2. So the equation of that asymptote will be x equals negative 2. That's a vertical line. The second vertical asymptote goes through positive 4. And as a vertical line, it also has the equation x equals here a positive 4. So these are our two vertical asymptotes. We can also see that we have a horizontal asymptote, which is on the x-axis. The, the y value here is 0. So this would have the equation y equals 0. That's our horizontal line. And again, the graphs are getting closer to it, but not touching. So these are our asymptotes. Next, we're asked for domain and range as either intervals or unions of intervals. And so looking at the domain, the domain is all of our possible x values. So looking left to right, our line appears to go on forever to the left. But then it has a break here at that asymptote, has all of the values in between the two asymptotes, and then starts again and seemingly goes on forever to the right. So to write this in interval notation, I would say that it starts at negative infinity. Of course, we wouldn't include infinity. And it goes to the x value of negative 2, not inclusive. And then we have a union with everything between negative 2 and 4, also not inclusive. And then a union again with everything to the right of 4. So 4 to positive infinity. Our domain is essentially everything except for those values, negative 2, and 4. Next we're asked for range. And so if we were looking up and down, this graph at some point has every possible y value. Even though it has an asymptote at y equals 0, those asymptotes are really just in effect out here on the edges. Between, we can see that it does actually cross the value y equals 0. So our range will be all reals. So negative infinity to positive infinity. And then lastly for part C, we're asked for both x and y intercepts. Starting with the x intercepts, I can see that this graph crosses the x axis once right here. That's the only time it crosses the x axis. So our only x intercept is going to be where the value is 3. So that was one of our options. For y-intercepts, looking at the y-axis, I can also see that it crosses the y-axis once, right here where we have the value y equals 2. So our y-intercept is 2. One x-intercept and one y-intercept. 